from Graphic Extras. In this video I'm just going to show you how to create a gel like layer style effect using a combination of gradients and also the quick mask. Now the sort of result here that I'm just going to try and get so I'm just going to remove this now and it's about three steps but you could just continue and do this four five six seven steps and uh, create different things but I'm just going to go and show you now got a gradient here gradient tool just going to apply the gradient I'm going to apply it in quick mask mode just going to create a different designs I'll just put that into radial mode so you can see a sort of landscape unusual structure there right that point uh, no no difference there particularly right I'm just going to now go to back into just turn that off now you'll see a selection. Now what I'm going to do is copy. I'm just going to go to edit copy. I'm going to paste it again. And I'm now going to go to layer, layer style. I'm going to colour for that. So I'm just going to some colour. So you can actually see the structure there. And a bevel. I'm just going to add a bit of bevel. Just change that slightly. Just modify. You can see a sort of three dimensional effect already appearing there color overlay I'm just gonna make it slightly darker okay click OK layer flatten image now reselect and now go to edit copy paste and now you can paste it you've actually pasted the inversion of that so I can go layer layer style now color overlay again just gonna set that a bit darker again so I might just quickly make that the default for now and bevel emboss I'm just gonna up there and you of course you can modify that just to create a different sort of size move that around creating different structures now of course this depends really on the actual initial as well as the shading you use but I'm just gonna now click OK at that point so that's at that point I've just finished for there now flatten image now I'm just gonna select all of that and I'm gonna go to edit copy and I'm gonna go to a completely new document and now instead of using the gradients I'm actually just gonna use that design so I'm just gonna paste that into the selection now come out of that and you've got that selection Again, go through the steps, copy, paste, layer, layer style, colour overlay, and already you can see quite a dramatic. I'll just change that. Okay, make default, click OK, layer, flatten. Now I'm going to go to reselect, so I'm just going to reselect the selection select inverse edit copy paste and now layer style gonna go to color overlay again and right now of course maybe make that more slightly more red to get a sort of gel like effects click OK and bevel and see already you're actually getting even more intense sort of a three-dimensional effect just by doing a combination of two so you've gone from gradient now using the actual design and now to the design and I can actually of course just modify that can move that around and you, you already you can see a very sort of gel like effect appearing deepen that okay At this point click OK layer flatten and the next step select select all copy and I'm going to go to a third one now this is the final stage and I'm just going to go to the quick mask mode again paste now I'm actually just going to go to come out of that got the selection there again edit copy edit paste and again layer 
their stuff. Obviously, you could continue and do this four, five, six times, but every time you do it, the, every iteration, you'll actually sort of develop even more intense texture and sort of three-dimensional structure to it. So I'm just going to now go to Color Overlay again, and I'm just going to go to I'll say red. Click OK and bevel emboss. And again, you move that around. Right. Click OK. And I'm going to flatten that. And this is the final step. Select, reselect. And then select inverse, copy, paste. And then go to layer, layer style, color overlay. slightly redder maybe more gel like red click OK bevel and there you have it you basically you can just now obviously just move that around and you can see a really quite intense gel now you can do this of course in plugins I know certainly there's other ways to do it in Photoshop but this is one way of creating a sort of gel like uh, nice flowing structure click OK and I can just flatten that. And of course I could continue on. I could do this three, four, five, six times and we'll just deepen the, that intense look. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, tutorial of interest. Thank you much.